Okay guys, here we are in northern BC. It took me probably 45 minutes to get up here through one of the most treacherous roads I've ever driven on in my rental car RAV4. So here we are guys, look around. We got the mountains of BC. We're on a very remote logging road. And we're gonna take this trail right here to this waterfall. And I think this might just be the most incredible waterfall we have ever seen in our collective lives. Let's go guys. Holy crap, look at that. Holy. This is insane! Look at that! Oh my god, you guys! I had to go back down to my car and get my bearskin hoodie! It is so wet here! I'm so stupid, guys! I left my bearskin raincoat in my hotel room! So now I got the hoodie, it's gonna be drenched. Oh my God. <laughs> this is some magical shit here, guys. Oh my God. We're a little bit closer, but a whole lot wetter right here. Look at that water just pounding down. Woo! Wow. Crazy. I don't even care how wet I am. Look at that water coming over there. somewhere dry. Rob, I wish I could get to that side, but I don't think I can. So I'm gonna try and go down the trail back to the road. I saw some people down there at a dry spot down at the bottom. I'm gonna try going down there because I'm soaked guys. My Antiox video series are exclusively geared up by the Bearskin Tactical Supply Company, where every Bearskin product is equipped for wild extremes with everyday comfort and wearability in mind. In these videos, I wear the world famous Bearskin Hoodie 3.0, the waterproof shell jacket, the heavy storm rain jacket, the no BS t-shirt, the nine pocket tactical pants, merino wool socks, and more all provided thanks to the Bearskin Tactical Supply Company. 
See the link in the video description to finally get yourself that tactical gear you've always wanted. Use the code 10DAVE at checkout to save 10% off your purchase. All right guys, so we made it out of Soaker City over there. As you can see, I took out the drone and uh, got some good drone footage of it. So now we're gonna make the way out, but it's like a long half hour, 45 minute drive out of this on this logging road. And there's all kinds of like waterfalls and other cool things to see on the way out. So let's check this out guys. There's another one right here. This is uh, just another random little waterfall. I don't know where it came from, where it goes or, or, or nothing, but it's pretty nice. See it runs from way up there. It's a very steep slope here coming on down here. Then it goes there, runs underneath the road and then there's another uh, lake way down there. So here's a look at this other little waterfall we got here guys. Gotta go slow here guys. A lot of rocks. A lot of rocks on this road here. Sharp rocks. Rocks sticking out of nowhere. Big potholes. I hear something guys. I hear water. Yeah, right here. Wow. Look at this. Holy crap. I'm saying that a lot. Look at this. It's gonna pull over. So this is pretty obstructed by trees, but it's pretty much just as impressive as the one we were just at. The big one, I, I mean, but it's so obstructed you can't see it as much. Okay guys, so I'm driving and I see way off in the distance, like way off in the distance up there, I see a, a very, very tall, skinny waterfall way up there. So I'm gonna put the drone up because I can't really see it from here with this camera. I'm gonna put the drone up and we're gonna go see what's going on at that waterfall way over there. Let's go. I just gotta show you guys this drive, all right? I'm just gonna put the camera out the window and show you guys what I'm seeing here. guys can't see this with your eyes from here but there's two beavers in this pond and I got them really good footage with my uh, like ultra zoom lens so we're gonna go and we're gonna watch the beavers now okay let's go watch beavers
right guys, here we go. Another waterfall adventure in northern British Columbia. So I'm terrible with words, so I'm going to show you guys where I'm going on this sign right here. It says, we, we satch, we sack, we sack. Guys, I'm terrible at words, so if you guys know how to phonetically pronounce this word, drop it in the comments down below. W-E-S-A-C-H. We satch, we sack. Wasatch, no clue guys, I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna walk through. I think it's about a kilometer and a half to get to the waterfall, so be a nice hike. Got my camera, got my bearskin rain jacket on. Let's go. Okay guys, you see it right ahead. Almost there. That was easy. Oh yeah, there's a rope down there to get me down to the bottom, so that's good. Oh, this is beautiful, guys. Somebody put a really thick rope over there so I can take the rope down and get down safely, which I definitely won't be doing, guys. Yeah, this is pretty easy. Oh, yeah. This water would be so refreshing right here to jump in. Wow. Guys, look at from this angle back here. I'm way back here by the rock wall. Look at this. Frame it up real nice there with the trees on the left. I can just sit here all day, guys, but I got more places to go. Okay guys, continuing my tour of northern uh, uh, BC, here we are guys on a lava field. This is literally floor is lava, like actually floor is lava. I think they said about 2,000 years ago, a big volcano erupted here and it killed a bunch of people and did lots of damage. And so now all over this area, there's these uh, lava fields where all these lo where all this lava just came through and then stopped. So now we're like just walking on lava. 
pretty cool. I don't know how far in I'm gonna go. But like these play this whole like vast fields full of lava. Look at this. This way at all this is, at one point was all just flowing lava. How many times can I say lava? Wow. This is crazy. A lot of bugs out here today, guys. It goes on forever back there. Holy crap. This is crazy. Lava. I think I'll grab my drone and fly it over this field here. See how far it goes, because this is pretty cool. And I know like I can just keep driving down this highway. And there's all kinds of places like this to stop, so let's see what else we could find around here, guys. Let's go. Nestled in the heart of British Columbia, Canada, lies the awe-inspiring Nisga Lava Beds. This remarkable landscape offers a glimpse into the raw power of nature and the rich cultural heritage of the Nisga people. Over 250 years ago, a volcanic eruption reshaped this region, spewing lava across the Nass Valley and creating an otherworldly terrain. Today, the hardened lava flows, jagged rocks, and pristine wilderness tell a story of both destruction and renewal. As you explore the lava beds, you'll discover unique geological formations, including lava tubes and tree molds, remnants of the fiery past. The Niska Memorial Lava Bed Park, established in 1992, protects this sacred ground and preserves the history and traditions of the Niska Nation. Visitors can walk along well-marked trails, marvel at the striking scenery, and learn about the profound cultural significance of the area through interpretive signs and guided tours. The park is also home to diverse wildlife, adding to its ecological importance. From the ancient lava fields to the lush surrounding forests, the Niska lava beds offer an unforgettable journey through time, showcasing the enduring spirit of the land and its people. Alrighty guys, we're continuing down this highway here and we're doing the, the lava fields tour and I saw something here that says Beaupre Falls 100 meters. So there's a waterfall apparently just 100 meters down this path here. So I figure, let's go check it out. Let's go guys. Ooh. There it is. It's nice, hey eh, guys? Beaupre Falls. That's nice, guys. That's a good one. Wow, better than I thought it was going to be. Pretty good, guys. Okay, so I'm not going to get much closer. I had to do a little bit of hiking up and around and I got more places to go today so I'm pretty happy with this view. We got a bonus waterfall on this trip. I didn't think we were, I didn't expect this waterfall so lots of fun adventures and things to find here in Northern BC. All right, let's go find something else guys. Check it out guys, we're still, we're still on the lava trail here. There's so much lava, but just look at this view. You have lava as far as the eye can see. And then you have mountains as far as the eye can see. Clouds on top of the mountains and they're snow capped. Guys, holy crap. Like one year ago, I was in Saskatchewan. 
and it's large and flat and empty but still just as beautiful and then here it's like a whole other world of mountains and lava and all that stuff wow guys this is such a good trip i highly recommend anybody make a trip here to northern bc like i did holy crap and i'm only on my first full day and i've seen so much guys i have still so much to do and still so much to see i'm so happy to be here let's take one more look around before we move on there's my car there's the pile of lava right there surrounded by mountains And all the lava has the stuff on it here. See? Oh, man. All right, so we're still here in BC, guys, and now we're gonna go check out something called Mannix Creek Falls. It's very dangerous, watch this, guys. So it's right off the side of the road here. So here's the highway. We've got the highway there, I parked right there. Very dangerous, but the, but the falls is right here, guys. So it's not very safe, but boy is it ever nice. Look at this right here, hey, look at that. That's a nice little waterfall right there. And then it just runs right down into this here. It's like a little water slide, guys, underneath there, under the road and over there. That kind of would be fun to slide through there and go underneath. And that's nice right there, eh? Mannix Creek Falls, guys. Okay, guys, we're a little closer here on the other side there, so there's the water. And then we're gonna see if we can get a look in this little uh, Satan's water slide here. Oh, that looks like fun, guys. <laughs> the devil's water slide. Okay, so here's where it goes, guys. There it is over there, the waterfall. It goes underneath the highway. And then look, it goes out there and then down there. So it's definitely not a very fun water slide. Look where it goes. Oh boy, all right, here we are again in the middle of nowhere in Northern British Columbia. As you can hear probably behind me, you're hearing rushing water. I found another waterfall. I'm on my way to another waterfall and I found a different waterfall. Let's check it out, guys. Isn't that nice? Wow. So I'm on a logging service road and there's a big mountain right up here beside me. So all the water and the melting snow it's coming down and then it goes underneath the road here and into this water which happens to be running very fast. So I found this as I was driving. I'm about 20 minutes away from the next waterfall that I'm looking for. So let's just have a look here. Hey guys, I like it a lot. I love finding random things that I didn't mean to find. All right, that's a nice little surprise. I'm gonna go to the next one. Oh, finally, my last waterfall of the day. And it's a nice one, guys. Watch this, here we go. Look at this. Just carving right through that canyon there. Wow, look at that. Let's go down and take a look at it, get a little bit closer. I am wearing my bearskin uh, raincoat this time so I don't get as wet as I did yesterday. It's pretty misty here and windy. That comes down with some force, man. Holy crap.
crazy how much wind a waterfall can make. Oh, it's so windy. Bear skin hoodie though, it's keeping me nice and warm. You guys know what to do, I keep saying it. Hit that link down below if you want some good, warm rain gear, tactical gear. Thank my friends at Bearskin Tactical for hooking us up. Hit the link down below. Let's keep going, guys. Oh. It's so refreshing. Click the video links to watch part one of my Antioch's video series as I arrive in and explore the largest ghost town in Canada, Antioch's BC. This video covers my first two days in Antioch's and stay tuned for part two which covers days three and four.